Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa Akim, Wa Akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson and another lesson that I want to bring out of uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 1. And I will say all the way into. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll see all the way into uh, verse 18. And this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and through verse 1, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. Write your heart, which is your mind. So, us Israelites, definitely the Israelite man, we definitely got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Because the Heavenly Father's law, statutes, and commandments are not done away with. It still stands to this day because the Heavenly Father, he's an ancient of days and he still remains the same. Especially us being the bloodline lineage of the Heavenly Father as being the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel from the northern kingdom and southern kingdom, the Israelite man, you know. We definitely got to keep his law, statutes, and commandments and seeking his face and seeking his righteousness, you know. Proverbs 3 and verse 1, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. Proverbs 3 and verse 2, For the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Proverbs 3 and verse 3, Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. It says, Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thy heart. Proverbs 3 and verse 4, Shall they find favor and good understanding in the sight of of the sight of Yahweh, thy power, and man. Proverbs 3 and verse 5 Trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. Right, so trust in the ways of the Heavenly Father. It's a very uh, good option to choose. It says Proverbs uh, 3 and verse 6 In all thy ways acknowledge him. Right, in all thy ways acknowledge the Heavenly Father. And he shall direct thy paths, right? So he'll definitely direct thy path. So we more, the more we lean towards him, the more we trust in him, the more we acknowledge him. You know, he shall definitely direct thy path. Especially us Israelites, you know. Proverbs 3 and verse 7. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord Yahweh and depart from evil. Right, so be not wise in thy own eyes. And fear the Lord Yahweh and depart from evil. Because scripture says at uh, the beginning... Uh, I believe it's uh, the beginning of wisdom is uh, fearing the Lord, Yahweh. This is uh, Proverbs 3 and verse 8. And it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Proverbs 3 and verse 9. Honor, honor the Lord, Yahweh, with all substance and with the first fruits of thy increase. Proverbs 3 and verse 10. And it reads, So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy press shall burst with a uh, new wine, Proverbs three and verse eleven. It says, "My son, despise not thy, despise not the chastening of the Lord Yahweh, neither be weary of his correction." So the more we commit sin in the sight of the Heavenly Father, so He chastises those who we love, especially the children of Israel. You know the sons and daughters of the Heavenly Father. You know the actual lineage of the Israelites. You know. So he chastised those who he love, you know, for correction, for us to return back into him and keep his law, statutes, and commandments, and turn back into the ways of righteousness. This is uh, Proverbs 3 and verse 11. We'll read again. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord Yahweh, neither be weary of his correction. Proverbs 3 and verse 12. From whom the Lord Yahweh loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son whom he delight. Proverbs 3 verse 13, happy is the man that find wisdom and the man that get it understanding. Proverbs 3 and verse 14, and it reads, For the merchandise of is better than the merchandise of silver and of gain, thereof that find gold. Verse 15, Proverbs 3 and verse 15, and it reads, It says, See, she is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou cast desire are not to be compared unto her. Right, so wisdom and knowledge and understanding is more better than rubies and fine gold, you know. She
she is more precious than rubies, right? Wisdom and knowledge is more precious than rubies. It's like it. And all the things that I cast desire are not to be compared unto her. Proverbs 3 and verse 16, it says, The length of days into her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Proverbs 3 and verse 17, Her ways are ways of plentiness, and her paths are peace. Proverbs 3 and verse 18, She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. Write this wisdom and knowledge from the Heavenly Father. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. Proverbs 3 and verse 19, The Lord by wisdom hath found the earth, and by understanding hath he established the heavens. Proverbs 3 and verse 20, By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. God. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying. Of uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1, and I'll say through verse 20. And that was the title of the sit-down lesson. So hopefully this lesson was edifying with that. I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Akar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.